everyone, I'm back. It's been a while. Um, life kind of got in the way. Been very busy lately. Luckily, it's been lots of positive things. Um, some of it's just been stuff, but there has been some positive things in there. Uh, but you know, with the new fun technology that is an iPhone, I was able to videotape some of the fun and exciting things I've been up to the last couple months, so I thought I would share those with you before I got to my spring essentials. Now onto my spring essentials. So I, I asked you guys for some video or vlog, as you internet savvy people would call this, um, ideas, and some people asked for my spring essentials. So I've put together a few things here which I think might help you out in the next couple months. I'm well aware spring is fully sprung, but... I'm always fashionably late. That's a lie, I'm early for things. I don't have an excuse. First off, spring cosmetics. So I don't know about you guys, but in the spring and summer, I, re I like really light makeup, light fresh makeup. And um, I'm not a huge foundation person in general, but I, uh, I do like a bit of a tint. And I really like BB creams, especially in the um, warm months when I don't really feel like having makeup melt off my face. So I really like, I know it's probably hard to see, the L'Oreal Paris Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. Um, see, um, I wear it in light in the in the winter months and medium in the summer months. So I really like this BB Cream. It's the best. Well, it's the favorite of all I've tried. It's very very light. Um, if you like heavier coverage, it might not be for you, but. I really like this one. Or I do like doing a bright lip. Um, nothing too heavy, a bright color, um, a nice light bright color. So L'Oreal Paris has a color reach line, which I really enjoy. Uh, the two colors I have here is Blushing Sequin, which is a pink, and Fiery Veil, which is kind of an orange. Um, it's kind of more of a glossy as opposed to um, a really matte color. So it's really nice. Um, I really like those colors. I also, if you want something a little more subtle. Uh, Revlon has these Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. So they're like a pencil crayon. So you just color on stuff. Um, and I like these. The color I have is Honey. So if you if you have one of these, I've been wanting to try more colors, but a girl can only have so many of these. So practical. Um, so if you, if you have one of these or you purchase one, let me know the color. I'll be curious to see how it is. And then the last one I have here is the one that I actually put in my very first video blog and the one I'm wearing now, and it is the CoverGirl Spellbound. Um, I really like this color. It's a staple for me in the spring and summer. It's a nice little pop of pink, so. Yes, my suspicion was correct. They are the exact same color. And now for clothes. I did a little bit of spring shopping recently. Turns out I miss shopping a lot. It was glorious. Um, but I found myself drawn to some of the same things, so I wanted to share those with you. Um, patterns. I picked up some patterns. Actually, most patterns were black and white patterns, but they were still patterns. Color. This is a bright yellow. Kind of looks green. But uh, love color right now. Obviously, if you've been reading my blog, you know I'm into stripes. Preferably this striped Zara coat, which I may be overwearing way too much, <laughs> but I love stripes. And then floral, you might, floral. Um, I've been loving floral as well. I've also been noticing, ladies, skirts. I want more skirts, so this might be another year of skirts for Miss Melissa. Um, I know some of you bug me about it and ask for more pant looks, but. I don't know, I've been really enjoying feminine looks lately. Maybe it's a bit with my age, I don't know, but I, I'm really liking feminine. So patterns, color, floral, stripes, and, and feminine silhouettes are kind of where I'm at right now. The first thing I thought of when I held these up were mixing these two patterns. So I think I have a pattern mixing problem. I've really been into pink lately. So I have these pink pumps that I'm kind of obsessed with. I probably wear them far too often. So. Loving these. And I think my most important spring essential um, for me is Claritin Allergy and Sinus Extra Strength. 24 hours, non-drowsy. 
Ugh, allergies, they've been horrible this year, so I've been drugged up 99% of the time. And if you have allergies, you know the swelling and the red and the dripping and the itchy. My left eye has been itchy every day and every night for the last two weeks and it is infuriating. Um, and this is my favorite allergy medicine. So if you actually have allergies and you wanna take this seriously, I definitely recommend this one. Um, the pills are a little larger though, but if you have allergies like mine, you would risk swallowing a live hamster to get rid of the symptoms. So that's not an issue for me, <laughs> but definitely this is in my purse all the time in the spring. I just learned there's a recommended dosage for this that you're not supposed to exceed. I probably quadruple it in a day. <laughs> so <laughs> that kind of maybe that explains some things. Hmm. So those are my spring essentials. Hopefully that short list will help you on your upcoming spring shopping endeavors. I have already re exceeded the recommended dosage of Claritin today. So I am going to go take my pulse and make sure I'm still alive. Bye.